Well, you know, it, I call it the cradle of coaches. There's been so many great coaches come through here, not only head coaches, but assistant coaches as well. And, uh, you know, it, that, that's what brings instant recognition to Northwestern State and the, the, the good players that have been through here. But, yeah, to have those guys to put in a good word for me is very humbling. Uh, I sure appreciate that. And uh, I know I'm going to be leaning on all those guys my first head job. You mentioned when you came over 17 years ago, looking for that GA job. Your, your truck kept going. Your that's right. Didn't. This time it didn't seem like there was any hesitation on your part. No, you know, it's uh, you've been a, when you're assistant for 17 years like I've been, you're ready to be a head coach. And uh, I told those guys of all the all the teams in our league, at Southland Conference League, that I wouldn't have left for any other job. It's this is the one I wanted, and uh, it's the one that I was offered. I'm fortunate. I'm humbled, and I uh, can't wait to get started. Going to take to get this team back to, just just to the SOC terms from what you've seen. Yeah, I mean, I, I just think uh, I think there's good players out there. I mean, that was evident by the draft this year. I know there were three guys drafted. The past few years, they've had a lot of guys. I think there's good players to be had. Um, I think we just got to go out there. We got to grind. We got to work. We got to believe. These guys are hungry. Uh, sometimes you got to come in and change the entire culture. I don't know if that's uh, the fact here. Maybe it will be. We'll see when we get out there on the field. But right now, I just feel like uh, these kids are ready to go. And like I said, when I met with those guys, part of the interview process, you could see it in their eyes. They're hungry. They're ready. And uh, I, I can't wait to get going with them. There's a lot of differences. You know, you know, the football field, I know it's changed since you've been here. Uh, sure. Last, but Greg Burke's still here. There's still a good foundation. I mean, is it like coming home in a sense? It really is. When I came back uh, Sunday and Monday to interview, it was really like walking into a time warp. I really hadn't been back since I left. Uh, maybe a recruiting trip here and there, but to see the town. But I, I felt right at home. Uh, my wife feels right at home. It's a great, great community. I like to say it's a small town, but big focus. Uh, we're going to have big focus even though it's a small town and uh, I think it's the school, the tradition, it attracts uh, great student athletes and we're going to hit the ground running, our assistants are going to get after it, they're going to recruit hard and, and uh, continue that and uh, we're going we're to get some good players in here and we're going we're gonna to coach them up and we're going to win. Is there a timetable for getting your staff in place? Yeah, you know what? I, I have talked to a couple guys. I, I think in the next uh, few days I'll release that and have that. I, I'm hoping by Tuesday or Wednesday we'll be able to uh, name a staff so those guys can get out there and hit the road and get to grinding in, in the recruiting. When you've been part of a tree like here that's produced Mitch, that's produced Jim Wells, that's produced John Cohen, Sean McCann, guys that you mm. Now you're on a little branch of that. Yeah, it's kind of cool. You think about it, it is kind of cool. But, you know, I think a lot of times, and I said it just then, and I said it in my interview, you know, I, I'm not looking to win all these games, turn the roster over, win these games, and get out and get my – I'm looking to live day by day, to coach day by day, week by week, start the foundation, build it up, do it the right way with character kids. And they've done a good job here. There's great – kids here they're great they do great in academics so we're going to build this thing we're committed to it we're living it day by day and we're going to uh, but it is kind of cool to be a part of something with all those great coaches you certainly didn't look like a, you look more like a football coach up there i guess the uh, gas man the quarterback well still right there. you know what I, I i tell the i guess the guy told me the microphone isn't that loud i said i'm not gonna have any problem with that I, that's kind of my deal uh, a lot of people tell me i should have been a football coach i, I get kind of loud and and boisterous, but uh, that's just my style, and we'll see. I spoke to Will Watson this minute ago, and he said, you know, tell you're a genuine guy, you're a stand up guy. I mean, Thank you. You obviously want to project that to your kids. The reception you got from them, could you tell? Are you on the same page already? I think so. I think so. You know, I went home and told my family. I was like, after speaking with those kids and talking to all these kids, I've been calling them the last three days on the phone. They're just, uh, they're ready, they're hungry. And uh, you, you can just see it in their eyes. I've been doing this a long time. You can tell by body language if a kid's ready, if he's not. But you know what? It's the first day. Everybody's excited. I mean, I, that's why I said let's come back next year this time and let's have another one of these. But uh, everybody's excited. But these guys, I, guys like Will Watson, I can't wait to uh, go to work with him and these other guys. I'm excited.